What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 11.2 Beta 2 was released to all devices today, except for the iPhone 10, which received this update a few days ago already. Now, it actually got this update ahead of everybody in order for people that updated to 11.2 Beta 1 to be able to restore and back up onto their shiny new iPhone 10. So if you guys were already running 11.2 on your iPhone 10, you will not be receiving an update. It is the same build number as the one that was released a few days ago. For everybody else, this update does actually have have a few new changes, some fixes that I wanted to cover, actually a good amount of them. So the biggest change would probably be for the iPhone 10, which actually received a few new wallpapers, which are really beautiful. We saw them earlier in the promos for the iPhone 10, and these are live wallpapers, so that means you can interact with them on the lock screen and get this cool effect. So three new glitter wallpapers, sort of like a paint effect. It's really beautiful. I personally really like these, so I will be using them on my device. And I've been looking forward to this beta on the iPhone 10, so I could finally update and my watch get it over here as well with my iPhone 10. Anyways, so uh, three new wallpapers for the iPhone 10, and switching over to my other devices. Actually, on the lock screen, beta two on the left, you'll notice that there is a slightly smaller volume picker little knob over here. For whatever reason, Apple decided to make that smaller. I'm not sure if that's a good change. It doesn't seem to really impact the grabability of it for me personally. I can still pretty much latch onto it almost right away. Uh, it would be nice if they made the one for the scrubber a little bit bigger to match this one, but that's a little change. Also the AirPlay icon on the lock screen music player isn't as glitched. It doesn't have three little dots on the bottom there. So Apple cleaned that one up. So actually jumping into the control center, you'll notice that the scrubber, the volume scrubber there is smaller as well for whatever reason they wanted to make it pretty even across the system. Also the AirPlay icon in the top right, as you can see on a beta one, it has an issue where it gets all gray and looking and on beta 2 they made it appear more lifelike adding more white to the color there and if you're recording your screen using the screen record function when you actually click on it and you click on it again you can stop it now in the new 11.2 beta whereas before you'd have to wait for it to start recording and then you can only stop it also while recording using this function check this out so when you actually go to exit it it won't capture the prompt in the video anymore now so if I click stop and I go to watch the video check this out uh, at the end of it, it won't show this prompt anymore. It just stops the video, which is cool. Also, there's a new behavior when you actually finish recording your display and you get that notification prompt up top. When you actually click on it now on 11.2, it'll actually take you directly to the video ready to be played instead of just going into the photos where you have to manually select it and then start playing it. I also noticed that in the power down menu, when you enter it and you wanna leave it by clicking cancel, it has a new animation. So it bounces to the screen instead of just automatically closing like it did here on 11.1. And in the home application, in the automation section, you'll see a new icon is reflected there for the HomePod and the Apple TV one just got a little different shading. During a call, the the AirPods icon when connected has been tweaked, so it's a little bit rounder on the bottom. You'll see better in that description picture there. Very, very subtle little change. And you guys know that new animation in 11.2 in the music application when actually dragging up on the now playing tab, it's been added to the podcast app, whereas previously it would just jump up like before in the music application. Now you get this really subtle neat animation. Also the icons in the message application have been updated here, both the photos one and the camera to reflect the new change in iOS 11. So a more flat camera design there. And you'll actually be able to introduce pricing for auto renewable subscriptions if you actually run applications now that you're in iOS 11.2. So new applications could add subscriptions that could change at any time. And a lot of users have actually reported that notifications just wouldn't pop up, they wouldn't show up even when you got them just now. That's since been fixed in 11.2 beta 2. And this hasn't been confirmed. I have personally not experienced this bug, but a lot of users that have been using just the I character getting autocorrected to a weird A symbol. I believe this has been fixed, this new beta, although that hasn't entirely been confirmed. And it's still unknown where Apple Pay Messages is or iMessage syncing across iCloud is. It's still nowhere to be found in this beta, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Also, fast charging over 7.5 watts using wireless charging hasn't been added yet. It's unknown when it will be. 
hopefully by the end of 11.2. So lastly, I'd like to run a Geekbench. That's pretty much it for the features part. Um, I'm gonna run a Geekbench and let you know about the performance numbers. But in general, the battery life has been good. I mean, stable, it's a performance that actually feels really good. I haven't run it on my 10, but on my iPhone 8 Plus, it's definitely feeling a lot better than earlier versions. Still a little bit buggy though, so I'm hoping that'll get figured out. Anyways, let's run a Geekbench, see what we got. So here's that Geekbench 4197 single and 9987 multi-core score dipping below 10,000 is definitely not good. Looking at the history from the last one on 11.1, .1, it was over 10,000 and a higher single core score even. So definitely not liking what I'm seeing here, but this is still a beta, do remember that. Anyways guys, a lot of little changes in this one, small refinements, nothing big. What I'm hoping for on the iPhone 10 is a true dark mode. I mean, something that would be system-wide in all applications, and I'm not talking about the smart invert, something much smarter than that smart invert. That would truly be awesome, plus a uh, always on display on the lock screen, I think would be really awesome as well. So hopefully with time, Apple does make those changes. But for now, this is what we get. And that is iOS 11.2 beta 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.